Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, today, uh, I will in this tutorial, I will show you how to paint uh, a tree that you can use for a 2D asset. So we are starting with opening our source file. So if you go to uh, the folder on Lego, and then uh, you choose the source paint tree PNG, and you open it, and then we will remake the tree here on the top right that you can see. So I will start by clicking on my background to make it a normal layer and I will put that in a folder source. I give that folder a red color and I'm placing the layer into it. I make a new layer um, and I give that layer the gray background color. And I will move the source a little bit more to the right uh, so I'm only interested in this tree and we will draw a mirror uh, next uh, to the where we have made some place now so I make a new folder I call this folder tree I make a new layer into it and then we will start uh, by drawing this tree uh, but before we do that, a little explanation on how uh, the Wacom tablet and pen uh, are working. Uh, I'm first going to replace it in the standard settings. So the standard settings are there. So um, I'm going to select my brush and then in the window here we have the brush and the brush presets but I also have them here on my right side so it's very easy I can open them uh, quickly and I can change things if I want to change so for the tree for the trunk of the tree we will start with a normal brush um, I will give it green color take the brush uh -huh. and I can draw small or bigger line uh, I can easily ad adjust the size of my brush by clicking uh, on two keyboard letters for me is the Q and the S where do you uh, set the settings you go to edit keyboard shortcuts and then if you scroll here a little bit down here you have all the different shortcuts that you can use then decrease brush size and increase brush size I used Q and S but you can uh, use the letters that are uh, that are good for you and then the other thing that I want to explain is when you draw you will see that if I do a light pressure or a hard pressure it is different now if you are painting it can be handy uh, that you can work in different uh, so in that way the more the pressure that you give uh, the the harder that your result is but for what we are painting now uh, I don't want that so we are going to the Wacom panel and in the pen settings here I will place the pen pressure on very soft by placing the pen pressure on very soft the moment that I touch a little bit I have immediately uh, a nice uh, the stroke that I want ok so I delete this one I will zoom in a little bit and I will start with uh, drawing the trunk of the tree So just make it a fluent line. One that goes here, one that goes there, up, one, two, three. Here on top also. Uh, it's important that you don't think too much and just make very natural fluent fluent lights up and up okay that's good for uh, the basic of my trunk so I'm going to place it over here 
zoom in a little bit and now I'm going to give this tree a little bit more thickness just by drawing so very important here that you work very fluent a little bit bigger over here uh, and I can make my brush a little bit bigger to fill in the big parts is too much uh, I can change my brush to the eraser tool and I can do the same thing It'll take a little bit of the trunk uh -huh. Okay, that will do for this exercise, um, of course, uh, because I don't want this video tutorial to be too long, I will uh, stop here for the trunk.
but you can uh, still keep on uh, making a refining it, making it a little bit better uh, if you want. But that's the idea. So now we have the trunk. Uh, I will fill them with the color, the brown color. So with my eye dropping tool, I'm selecting the color. And then now if I do Alt Delete, so filling with the foreground color, I'm filling the whole layer. But because here I click on Lock, if I do that Alt Delete, I will only be filling uh, the tree. A little bit darker, uh, something like that. So that's my trunk. And now I'm going to place these leaves on top of it. So I'm making a new layer. I call it leaves. That was the trunk layer. For the leaves, I'm going to use brushes. So when I select my brush, um, I can go here to my brush panel, my brush presets, and here I can choose to reset the brushes. Then I have uh, the standard brushes from Photoshop. I have a lot of, I have different brushes that I can click on here and I can also load my own brushes. For example here, uh, if I go to Google and I click the type Nature Brushes Photoshop, then you will see that we have a lot of results where we have different kinds of brushes that we can use uh, to easily make, um, for that example here, different kind of trees. Um, so, I'm clicking here on load brushes and then in your folder you will see that the brushes are there. So you click on it load and then we see here that we have some new brushes. We will use the brush 414, so I click on that brush and now I will take uh, the red, uh, yellow color here so you can see what is happening. Now when I paint with this brush, mm -hmm. yeah, each time that I paint, like you can see, it's a different form, a different direction, and even a little bit a different color. What is happening here? When, uh, when I click on my brushes, and I go to the detail of that brush, then I will see here in the shape dynamics that there are all different things. Like for example, in color dynamics, I'm saying here, okay, the color can be different each time. Uh, the same for uh, the rotation, uh, but for the exercise that we are going to do now, I will uh, put everything so I don't want that. I just want one leaf, like I have now, and now each time that I'm clicking, it has the same form. The only thing that I want to change is, I want it to be uh, a little bit turned around, so minus, minus 90, will be okay. I will zoom in a little bit. And now we will start with this brush. Make it a little bit smaller. And I will start here with putting some leaves on top of it. I can, e I can easily make my brush a little bit bigger or smaller. Then I make a second layer of leaves. And a third layer of leaves. For the third layer of leaves, I will turn um, my brush a little bit more, so I go back to the settings. And I will say minus 70, so you will see it's a little bit more turned, so it gives a different to it. Maybe 
I add an extra layer underneath with a little bit more darker red so I take some darker red It can be a little bit more orange. Now I'm putting a new layer here. And a little bit darker. No. So, like you can see, in that way we easily uh, made uh, our leaves from our tree. The next thing that we will do now is we will draw these lines here on the trunk. So I'm making a new layer. I call it top trunk. Now with the brush, I take the, the normal brush for it. Make it smaller, and then just now I will give it a little bit the form, a little bit of the depth by. taking very smoothly some lines in the tree that are giving it some direction that will do and now with my magic wand tool I will select the trunk by clicking on it now I will make it a little bit smaller so I go to select modify contract and make it two pixels smaller and then I go also to select modify smooth and I give it a feather of two pixels and now with this selection, I will add a mask on the top trunk. And then I will place the opacity on something like 50%. Voilà. And if we zoom out, we see uh, that we have made a variation of this tree. So now you can make different kinds. You can make a bigger one, a smaller one. Uh, voilà. But the important thing is that you remember uh, how you can load brushes how you work with brushes and that you can change uh, your pressure uh, the pressure for your Wacom uh, here in the pen settings that's it for today